who's the best rock, paper, scissors player worldwide? This is a strange question, because the intuitive answer would be that this game is way too easy and requires no skill at all. So it would be impossible to determine who's the best. If there is a world champion, the probability to win against him is very high, especially if you play a best of one or best of three game. I think your odds to win against any other world champions are significantly lower. We think that the result of any game is completely random, but if we take a closer look, we see that this is not the case. It is very difficult to generate a truly random result and because of this AI is superior to us even in a simple game like rock, scissors, paper. If we think about tasks for an AI, we usually think about problems and systems with many independent variables that are far too complex for the human brain. It is not difficult to imagine an AI recognizing patterns in large amounts of data more quickly and reliably or making smarter decisions in chess compared to human. We rather do not think about a simple game like rock, paper, scissors. Although most of you probably already know it, here are the very simple rules of the game in the non-Big Bang Theory version. It is a game in which each player simultaneously forms one of three shapes with an outstretched hand. These shapes are rock, paper and scissors. Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper and paper beats rock. Very simple rules. Why does humanity need a game like this? Well, it is mostly used to make a random decision. Who gets to eat the last piece of cake or who gets the right to start at any other game. So this game is basically designed to create a random result. But you won't believe in randomness anymore once you've played a few rounds against an AI. This is possible on the website affinity.com. And I recommend everyone to try it. It's a very frustrating experience though, but you can get some hands-on experience on losing against an AI. In the early rounds, you will probably win as much as the AI does with about the same number of ties. It is even sometimes possible to analyze and outwit the AI. To do this, you have to establish a pattern and then finally interrupt it to win a round or two. In this example, I established that I always change to stone after I took paper. The AI learns this pattern and uses it to win many rounds. But if I know that the AI will choose the paper next, because it assumes that I follow my pattern and change back to stone, I can use this information to counter with scissors and get a victory. However, this is a fool's victory, because while I established the pattern, the AI could easily score many points. In the later rounds, things get even worse. It becomes more and more difficult for me to keep track of what happened in every round, while the AI gradually learns more about my playing habits. New tactics are analyzed and countered within a few rounds. And at some point, I got the feeling that the AI already knows what I was going to do next, even before I knew. The only way, at least to try to win as many rounds as the AI does, total random behavior. So I started to choose my buttons randomly. But for some reason, the AI could predict what I was going to do, even if I focused on making no actual decision. I learned that it is almost impossible to make a random decision consistently. Our brain is not designed to do so. Our brain may be complex and we don't understand exactly how decisions are made, but its mechanisms are deterministic. And this inevitably leads to patterns in our decisions that an AI can detect. For example, let's take a look at the tendency to choose the same button four times in a row. The probability that something like this will happen by chance is one third to the power of four. One in 81. So if you always play matches with 1000 rounds and every click is 100% random, this would happen on average 12.35 times per match. If a person is asked to choose the buttons randomly, most people will deviate significantly from this number. Some people might think that it is very unlikely that the same button will be selected four times in a row and therefore they choose to never do it like this. On the other hand, people could get tired of constantly changing which buttons they click and therefore it happens much more often that they click the same button multiple times in a row. 
the AI can recognize such tendencies and hundreds of additional tendencies at the same time. Therefore, the AI will always win if the number of rounds played is high enough. Write your score after 100 rounds in the comments, if you want to try it yourself. I think by this point, the AI takes over nearly every game. Even if this is another competition that the brain loses against an AI, there's at least a small consolidation. Our brain might be bad at selecting a truly random number, but a computer is just as bad at it. An algorithm is by definition deterministic and not random at all, but a lot of other algorithms need randomly generated numbers to operate properly. In the end, random numbers are also essential for development of AI technology. The question how a perfect random algorithm could look like is not even finally answered. There are different mathematical approaches and some are very difficult to understand. Before such an algorithm is used, it must be tested extensively, since the smallest inequalities have a big effect when there are millions of random numbers to be generated. As we can see, it is not easy to make decisions or to generate numbers randomly. And even if single action seems to be random, with a sufficiently large sample, we often see clear patterns. And an AI is an excellent tool to analyze these patterns even in absurd situations like a game of rock-paper-scissors.